Fritz is watching too. So, <laughs> all right, the athletes are down there, kind of getting their block set as we get ready for the World One League Men's 100 Meters. This will be heat one. We'll have two heats, and I believe we've got the top two and the next five fastest times advancing to a final later tonight. As they all walk back to get ready to take the starter's commands. And somebody takes a nice little stroll across the track. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Here are the lane assignments. Uh, and right there in the middle, Sonia, we've got Johan Blake in lane four. Second fastest man ever at 100 meters. One of America's, uh, Jamaica's, Jamaica's greatest sprinters. He is a world champion. He's 31 years old now, has tons of experience. And with Usain out of the sport now, he could definitely have a chance at a gold medal at the Olympics in Tokyo. Also in lane five is Andre de Grasse of Canada, another great sprinter. Fantastic sprinter. Every time you count Andre de Grasse out, he comes out with a stellar performance. He looked phenomenal in Doha, running 1989 in the 200. That is definitely his better event, but he always is competitive in the 100. He's actually a bronze medalist at the World Championships at 100 meters. So this is a great field for our first heat of the men's 100. And Sonia Worth of mention there in lane three, that's Hakeem Sonny Brown of Japan. And that young man right there carries the weight of his nation to come to the Olympics and perform well. Probably 30 to 40 credentialed media here just to watch him. So here we go. Heat one of the men's 100 meters, the World One League men's 100 meters. And we'll get a 40 split either during the race or right after. And we've got a fair start. Great start by Johan Blake. He's out well. Andre DeGrasse right there with him. And now DeGrasse takes over the lead with a nice run and points up to the sky. So Andre de Grasse with a nice run. Looking down to get the time. 992. 992, okay. And Johan at 10.05, I believe I see. That's fantastic running there for de Grasse. I can't say I'm surprised because he looks so good in the 200, which always looks makes him run really strong at the end of the 100. You can tell he's feeling good waving to the crowd. And there are your splits. There, there's Johan at 4-2-3. He had a great start. And the rest of the field. So 4-2-3. Let's mark that down for Johan Blake. That's already just a hundredth off of exactly. the best time uh, exactly. in exactly. the prelims. Exactly. Don't tweet, don't tweet <laughs> me now. I told you. Okay? So Johan Blake, and this is not a final. Okay? This is a prelim. 4-2-3 in the 40. Again, they're starting it by hand time. And then the laser... Uh, picks up the actual official time for the finish as they pass through heading to 100 meters. All right, let's look at the start again. Like you mentioned, Johan Blake was off to a fantastic start, and so was Andrew Hudson in lane two. But Andre de Grasse, who has run really well at 200 meters earlier this year, just cruising by Johan Blake. Reminds me of the Olympic when he was running side by side with Usain Bolt. Just looks so strong. 992 in the prelims is great running for him. Excited to see what he will do in the final. Carrie? Andre, pointing to the camera, pointing to the <laughs> clock. You had a great race, and it's just a prelims. Yeah, I felt good. I was hoping, you know, to almost run a personal best. I felt really good coming out the block, so just wanted to transition, and I just felt really good. So I was like, kind of just did what I did in the moment, and uh, I felt really good, yeah. Nice to have rounds. Yeah, um, I just came back <laughs> from uh, Doha, so I don't even know if I'm going to run the finals. We'll see. But, um, yeah, I mean, I was just trying to come out here. It's my home track. Uh, I train here every day, so I just wanted to come out and try to go down, put down a good performance. Well, man, you look good. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. He did look good. And, Sonia, even more impressive that he's got uh, jet lag in his leg. And you come out here and you bust a 990. What was it, 992? 992, and his personal best is 990. So just that? off his personal best. Fantastic. Okay. So Andre de Grasse uh, lays down the first marker for all the sprinters here tonight who are getting keyed up for their – uh, national championships, trials, and of course the Olympic Games. And here we are getting set with Heat 2. And this heat features Ronnie Baker. Excited to see how he'll respond to Andre de Grasse's first heat. Right. And of course the 40 time is also at stake because Ronnie's a great starter. And another fair start. Ronnie Baker already high stepping. Look at the power and speed of Ronnie Baker in this. And now he shuts it down. And we're squinting for the time, and he is under 10 as well. 991. 991. Galloping. 
9.91. He shut it down about and, 70 meters and out. And look at that. Look at that. Ronnie 4 Baker 22. ties the best time ever at the NFL <laughs> Combine. Hello. Just like casually running down the track, a little saunter on this Saturday afternoon, 4.22 and 9.91. These let, men are really running fantastic. Why are you call this replay? Let me get on my phone and look at Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. That was in lane two. That was Devin Quinn, who was actually out with the fastest start. And Ronnie Baker tracks him down very quickly and just looks phenomenal. This is the kind of poise that you want to have in the first round of the 100 meters. And he just looks great. And he's with Kerry. Gary, all yours. We are down here with Ronnie. Ronnie, shut it down. Cruise through. Walk us through your race. Man, I felt good. I felt like this was the first time I actually, you know, executed the race pretty well. You know, I stayed focused, relaxed, and I got up in my run, and I knew it was just going to pull away from everybody. So I just shut it down at the end. We'll see about the final going all the way through the line. Well, you've had a big year already, so we look forward to the final. Thank you. All right. Well, who knows what he's going to do when this is over, huh? My goodness. So Ronnie Baker looking great. In that heat of the 100 meters, we'll see the men back on the track a little bit later. And uh, who knows what we can see next. So Ronnie Baker makes a statement. The women are on the track next. What will they do?